multiple instances of Blender on Mac. If you open your Blender and you try to open another file while using the first file, it will ask you whether you want to close this file. And it's not very convenient when you have many files, right? So enable to run your Blender in multiple instances as well. Like you can open 10 instances, for instance, and it will be possible. And here I have, here I run two instances, right? Actually, I'm not because I'm only running one instance at once. Here, for instance, I removed these vertices and I haven't changed those. Uh, I, I mean, I changed the file, but I haven't saved it. And I try to open another file. It, it will ask, do you want to save changes? Um, I'm not sure about that right now. So I hit cancel, but I'm unable to open the second file. What can you do? So in Mac, you can go to your applications folder and find your blender which is in my case somewhere here I guess and if you show package contents you can run that blender directly from your terminal and yes you are able to run two instances for the same time but it's kind of not very convenient right uh, you can drag your file to open, yeah, but it's not very convenient, right? Yeah, it's not. And there is another option. You can use Automator and create an application to run another instance of Blender by, by just typing run, run shell script. And under shell script, you just copy your path to Blender here, that one in my case. Maybe it's the same in your case as well. Let's close it anyway, terminate. Here, um, you save it. Here, you can try to run it first. And as you see, it runs. And then you create your app, which you can call Blender 2 or multiple instances of Blender. Let's save it as, save it as your app blender2 or x2 maybe it's better <laughs> blender times 2 that's something very strange anyway maybe you can save it to applications folder so you'll be able to see it in your launch pad but you need to change your icon as well and as i create it i can close it first and no need to save it here so if I go to applications folder, I can see that instance right now, that another instance of Blender here, which is not very awesome because it doesn't have that icon of Blender, right? So you can change it by copying this icon from Blender, that one. You copy it to your contents and resources, and as you see, application step, stop, delete it and rename this Blender icon. It and then I'll recreate this app from the scratch. New document, application, run, run shell script, and options. Let's just save it. We'll save it as Blender times free. And here we go. That is a new app. And I'm still not able to run it. Oh, I'm able to run it, actually. So that's how it works. You can run as many instances as you want by recreating those scripts again and again. So you just, you need four instances. No worries. Just new document, application, run. A shell script or you not not this one sorry <laughs> that's a mistake run shell script and then pay, paste it again and save it as blender times for save and then voila and here you can also change as you see that icon will always be there 
but it's not a big problem. It's not a big deal. And all, all times I was able to make Cinema 4D to use a proxy only by using Apple Script approach because it was the only solution to force it to use a proxy instead instead of normal network direct network so here I need to copy as well this application stuff icon in where do I go I go to applications as well and maybe I need to assign some different icons for each otherwise it's I think it won't influence them anyway because it's still running the same blender <laughs> So it still will show up the same icon. Here, replace and replace here. Here, I'm able to run four instances of Blender uh, at the same time by just using this simple approach. I hope it helps you to achieve more goals in Blender and stay tuned. As you see, let's try to open several files at the same time. I want to open... which one, which one, which one? I want to open... okay, here. I want to open this one and allow. I do ask every time I need to access a new instance of Blender. It will re-ask every time, okay. And then I want to open this file and and this instance I want to open, let's say, bottle of coke file. And in this instance I already opened, opened, not opened yet. Let's open something else. Let's open something from the test. Maybe test will be nice. Yeah, because it's kind of not a very big file, but anyway, it has animation inside. And here I can play at the same time while using different instances and playing them as well. Uh, it doesn't play anyway. Let's go to this one. This one will play anyway. Good. So I can switch between different parts of Blender, uh, different instances of Blender. And at the same time I can use them and playing animations and it's still working. Great. That's is awesome. I didn't expect it to work for four different instances at the same time. And as you see, it even doesn't lag much. <laughs> and let's check, by the way, how much it costs for consumption of power or CPU resources. Uh, yeah, it's kind of energy impact, memory, CPU. It doesn't show up. Why? Ah, there it is. So let's find Blender. Plan. Here, here we got the first instance, the second instance. Well, it consumes around 66% of CPU power, which is kind of a lot. And how about memory? How about memory? It consumes around one gigabyte or something, even more. Yeah, that was reasonable and expectable. And it doesn't show up network requests from, from Blender. Let's check. Actually, yeah, it doesn't request anything from outside. In That was expected. As you see, you can use at the same time four instances of Blender on this Apple Silicon Mac. Yeah, you can do it. Thanks for watching.